Hello everyone and welcome back to the Disgaea 2 PC LP. This is episode 7. So let's go in and do another uh, summoning experiment. Um, yeah, I guess this is fine. Are you guys ready? Today I'm going to summon the best younger sister in all of history. The best younger sister in all of history. What does that even mean? Uh, well, you know how there's a lot of younger sister characters in anime to please certain fans? If you ask me, they'd never do that with us. I see you. I see what you're up to. You want to prove that you are, in fact, the best younger sister. That's right. You're so smart, Rosie. Or Rosie. If you summon the best younger sister, I will pop out. But we weren't doing this to summon strong opponents. <laughs> we, but weren't we doing this? Okay. But weren't we doing this to summon strong opponents for me? Okay, now open your eyes and witness just who is the best younger sister in all of history. Open my eyes? I don't think that's something that the best younger sister in all of history would tell her brother. What? I wasn't summoned? Did it fail or something? Didn't it ever occur to you that you might not get chosen? That is not very nice to say to your sister. Huh? Where am I? This is Veldheim. You're an innocent victim of a terrible experiment. Veldheim? Well, my name is Mia Bell. I came from Anarofa. Anri Fona? Uh, what should I do? Everyone looks worried. <laughs> Ur, I can't believe this. How can this plain little girl be the best younger sister in all of history? This can't be right. This must be a joke. Adele, go beat her up. <laughs> Huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> What's the matter? Smile. <laughs> I want to protect her. I can't attack. Impossible. Oh, you're so beautiful. You look like a princess. No, her eyes look so pure and innocent. I can't shoot her. <laughs> you two are useless. Fine, I'll erase her and become the best younger sister in all of history. Hmm, I like your clothes. I wish I had a dress like that. Uh, I, I want a younger sister like her. I really want to beg mom and dad to give me one. <laughs> Darn, I have... I have be a pure and innocent girl. <laughs> I guess that's what it's hip right now. Hmm, I give up. You beat me. <laughs> okay, from now on, you're our younger sister. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. Hmm, <laughs> it seems that everything has been settled. Huh? Are you serious? Ignoring Mia Bell's confusion, Adele and his allies got a new younger sister. Kududu, Lily, help me. I have no idea. I have no idea what game she's from. But I'm guessing it's a NIS game. Um, Mia Bell. Let's see. Girl, a girl member of the Celestar. She daydreams, which runs in her family. Increased abilities of allies on the. Damn, that's pretty good. Um, and she is a magic user. Am I might not use her? Um, because I only want to use, like, some of the DLC. Uh, not all of it. Um. Yeah, we can go to Reflection Pond. Hey! Are you really trying to lead me to Zenon's mansion? Absolutely! The path to an overlord is laden with suitable trials to overcome. If you do oh. not face challenges along the way, you will not fully appreciate your goal. It is tradition, is what she said. And unfortunately, there's no log in this game for me to go back and get her to read it again. Look, I'm not doing this for the satisfaction. I just want to fight the overlord. Bumpkin, 
Do you not appreciate beauty? Every course to an overlord begins with the beautiful art of leveling up. Oh, please. You don't even know how to fight. Am I supposed to believe that you know all this random, trivial knowledge? Of course. How can a noble better justify squandering time than with the pursuit of knowledge? I like how it's justify squandering time. Not like, how can a noble better use time? <laughs> It's just like, nah, we're wasting time. This is a pretty good justification of it. Ah, and being a demon and all, you must have a lot of time to squander. And I do like how there is a gradient of uh, ash on the printies because they blew themselves up. Uh, okay. Okay, do that. Uh, 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 God, Gig's art is so different than Adele's art, which isn't bad. I'm almost tempted to try and pass a stronger enemies bill, just so the uh, people can get more XP. <laughs> because they're not going to be doing much damage. Okay. Overlord Zenon, my master, I have just received urgent news from the princess's mansion. The princess has disappeared, and it has happened in front of many servants. What? Is this true? It appears someone has summoned her. Someone with decent summoning skill. But who? How did they even know about the princess? We do not know yet, but it is obviously someone who opposes you. Find the princess. Immediately. You must not allow her to be contaminated by the outside world. Yes, sir. We will be sure to keep the princess a secret from anyone else. What shall you have us do with the guards at her mansion? Wipe them out. All of them. As you wish, my master. Okay. So... This. I'm actually gonna see if I can do it. The ram has a lot. Um, okay, stronger enemies at 51. Let's try it. It seems to be rather scaled in my favor. Um, so. Um, gonna save. I haven't saved in a while. So, I'm going to. Actually, nah. I don't want to risk um uh, being forced into the dark world <laughs> by sexiest of all time, strongest in a way. Um, let's do sexiest of all time. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess this shows you what DLC characters there are. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> but none of them have the right punch to them. They're not as charming, fresh, or as cool as I expected them to be. Uh, after summoning so many, you have diluted all of our all of your guests. You're on the path to becoming a great demon. Uh, I don't have the right punch. I thought they were all strong enough. I'm mo I'm more than satisfied with the fights. Well, I'm not satisfied. But didn't you say you summoned them for my satisfaction? <laughs> That's why I told you so that you let me do it. It was always for my own selfishness. They were, ex they were experiments to improve my summoning skills, and I'm not satisfied yet. Uh, well, if you're that determined, then I'll be happy to help you. <laughs> Great, and let's move on to the final experiment. Uh, who in the hell are you going to summon now? 
<laughs> the world's strongest, the world's smartest, the world's most beautiful. The sexiest character of all time. Who the hell is that? Does she really exist? Of course, she's out of this world, but she'll come around here in a few years. I don't even want to ask who she is. You don't have to, because you already know her. It's me, Hanako. I know I'm flat and everything now, but in ten years they'll grow into huge melons. And plus... Well, that doesn't have anything to do with strength. Now, come on out, Hanako, from ten years in the future. Is she really Hanako from ten years from now? Ah, uh, she doesn't have melons. Oh, shit. Uh, do not worry, my petite. Even if you are still flat, if you have a cute face, you will still be an angel. Uh, leave her to me, Tink, who loves all beauties from 18 to 49, give or take a decade or two. Yeah, so that's Tink, uh, so who is from later on in the story. Uh, are you last, mademoiselle? The way I see it, with those clothes, your body knows every which way it wants to go. Allow me to ask you, you down the road less traveled. At least I hope it is less traveled. Are you ready to go? How brutal. Her aura is fiercely hostile. Get ready, everyone. She's serious. Don't underestimate her. She may be Hanako, but she's got Demon Lord level magic power. So yeah, I didn't realize that the list it had was almost in an order. Hanako, Demon Lord. <laughs> uh, okay, so she really likes guns, and she likes other things as well. Uh, Del Sister, who's, who earned a new title, she set out on her own. Adjacent male stats increase. Um... I got a better gun. Bang. Did not skip that story. Uh, huff, huff, what strength. I've never seen anything like this before. Hmm, this might be fun, but I only used a tenth of my strength. Think you can handle it? You're already panting. Adele, is she really me in ten years? I don't know, but if that's true, then I'm very proud of you. <laughs> I'm glad. Silence, this is no time for levity. She's regarding us as her enemies. Oh no, are we in trouble? All oh, my summoned friends who I have not yet met. You dare to stand in my way? Do you think you can stop me with such a lack of power? I don't know about that, but I'll try my hardest. Uh, Almaz from Disguise 3. Almaz, this is such a dynamic scene. Can you please try not to act like a total dork? Uh, Princess Sapphire, also from Disguise 3. Uh, would you believe that was just a reflex? Um, fuck, I forget who he's from, but he's from... Oh, it's like the Bermuda Triangle or something one. Um, Ash. Okay, that's her name. Ash and Mar Marona from... Uh, I forget the thing. You two really are the best of friends. Now, you guys, aren't you bothered by all the trouble that little girl caused for you? Uh, sure, it's a pain in the ass, but it was pretty fun to pick on garbage like them. Uh, I don't think it was a total waste of time to go through all the pain and humiliation they caused me. You guys, but it was all my fault. Huh, this is turning into a lame soap opera. I'm going home. Huh? Go home? But how? Do you remember who you're talking to? I'm you from ten years from now. 
I can undo this amateur hour summoning. Did you think I'd never improved my skills? Well, no, but the summon was really advanced. I'm sure I am amazing in the future. Well, anyway, you have to chain yourself harder and send all these people back to their own worlds. Now, instead of helping you, I'll just give you this. Take care of it. If you flake out on your training or fail to send them all back, I'll know. I know. Don't worry, I'll train really hard. Goodbye, me of the past. Goodbye, everyone. Demon Lord Hanko left her keepsake. Woo, that was scary. Well, are you guys alright? I really thought I was gonna die this time. Yeah, but you don't even look like you're sorry. That may be true, but that future Hanako seemed to imply something. I guess I'll grow up to be a mysterious lady. <laughs> I think that future Hanako needs to give you a harsh punishment, don't you think? Future Hanako's keepsake is staring at Hanako. No, I'm just kidding. I'll study hard from now on. Uh, starting tomorrow. <laughs> so I, only, I think I only want like two more of the DLC based on that entire roster. Is it strange that I don't trust myself from ten years ago? But I needed to do something like this. I hope that they can all make it back to their own world soon. Hmm, I forgot how much they all cared about me back then. Huh. Oh well, after I get healed I should come back and go overlord hunting around here again. Yeah, so apparently future Hanako's a badass. If you think about it, ten years in demon time wouldn't change a person all that much. Okay, so... Um... I guess I'll give you... Actually, no. I want to look at your status again. So, you're A with bows and staff. So, I will... Um... Serific take the Serific Bow off of Felt and switch it with the Diabolical, or di Diabolic, Diabolic Bow. And then I'll go and give Hanako the Serific Bow, and yeah, that'll be it. And I think I'll just buy a, a, some shoes. Buy... What the hell? Can I get some shoes? Oh, do I need to pass the shoe thing again? Um, yeah, give, give me shoes. I want shoes. I mean, I could just take them off of... Uh, some of the other people that I don't plan on using, which honestly I should do, but buying shoes is not all that expensive. Um, yeah. Okay, buy shoes. I guess I can buy those as well. Equip Hanako with uh, cross trainers, Ninja Tabby. That put her movement at nine. And range manually. Huh. Weird. Oh well. Um, and now I'll save and go do another map. Honestly, I should, because it's like, these aren't doing all that much. I could just put on sh shoes to make everyone move quite far. Especially... Um, you got on. There. Put your move to at least five. This four is so f little. Um, okay. Town fields, 
Psycho's hideout. Okay, and this is where you learn about Geoblocks. Because you can get more XP. Um, yeah. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um. Punch. Okay. Okay, and her thing is all in Japanese. So these guys are at level four because of the uh, because of the um, stronger enemy thing, but it's still not all that much stronger. Am I actually trying to pass it again? Because my damage is at least my damage output is quite high. Okay. Oh shit. Damn it. I keep hitting uh, R2, which is end turn, instead of L2, which is execute. Because I do like uh, the added... Um, the added commands on those. Just like having a blatant uh, execute button. It makes things a bit uh, easier. Okay. So that was useful. Do not skip the story. Listen, you. Why do you desire to do something as stupid and reckless as battling my father? Do you actually believe you, a mere human, stand a chance against my father? Xenon's curse turned every human into a monster. He turned our beautiful world into some twisted netherworld. When humans turn into monsters, they start to lose their conscience and memories, eventually becoming real monsters. I grew up watching as my family slowly turned into monsters. Can you even imagine how painful that is? If my family becomes something truly monstrous, I won't let that happen. I will defeat Xenon! I'll do whatever it takes to protect my family! You may talk all you want, but do you honestly believe that? You won't even take any hostages, correct? Well, there's no doubt I'll defeat him! Yes, yes, you've declared that many times. But where does all your confidence come from? Look at me! I'm the only one in Veldheim who hasn't turned into a monster! And I still have all my memories and morals. I'm the only human who hasn't been affected by Xenon's curse. That has to mean something. And? That's it. That's it? Your faith in defeating Overlord Xenon is solely based on that? Why? Is there a problem with that? It is more than just a problem. Are you so stupid you do not see it? Do you not have a better reason? Such as being from a heroic lineage, or being level 100 million? Normal people usually have, you know, real reasons to believe they can defeat their enemies. Huh, I don't care. Not having a good reason to fight is just an excuse for people who don't want to fight. I suppose you may be correct, but... What's really important is to never give up, to have an indomitable will. Even if your legs are broken and your arms fall off, you have to fight to the end. That's just my style. A speech on willpower in this day and age? I did not know people still believed in such silly notions. Perhaps it was your thick skull that prevented my father's curse from affecting you. To be summoned by such an odd peasant, I must be cursed with the worst of luck. This human is a complete fool. Such a cretin must not be allowed to disturb my father. I shall have to kill him myself. Be prepared. Okay. So, come over here. 
And unfortunately, I can't just like unplug my uh, phone because it needs to be on in case something important happens. Yeah, you can reincarnate into a printy. <laughs> it's just funny. Okay. Um, 51. There. Begin the vote. Come on, give it to me. Okay. Proved. Got some stronger enemies. Uh, just trying to expedite uh, leveling at this point. Um, because it's not going to be difficult due to equipment. And let's do one more summoning. Uh, summoning experiments. Strongest in a way. Strongest swordsman. Strongest princess. I imagine this is Almaz. This is uh, uh, Sapphire. Another princess. Not sure. Uh, Chartrugel. Fierce Overlord. Um, let's go with Fierce Overlord. Uh, the Omni Tome and a Glass Mask, and for additional flavoring, King Drake the Third. Mm-hmm, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Hey, don't summon all willy-nilly. What is the matter, and what is that indescribable odor? Jeesh, this stinks. I had the wrong flavor. I like how it's a flavor of summoning. Cough. I can't stand the smell any longer. This is a terrible failure. Another failure? Damn, I have the worst luck. I thought I told you not to rely on luck when you're summoning someone. Huh? Something's coming out. She looks familiar. Oh, hello, Pram. summon me? You dared to summon me. Hmm? Who should I turn into my plaything first? This is a complete failure. She's just another girl. Just another girl. This is not good. I thought someone better would come out. It seems that you don't know me if you think that there's someone better than me. Well, she seems confident, but the confident people are usually the ones who suck. Hmm. Hanako, how can you say things like that after everything you've done? Listen up, I'm Pram the Oracle, a young overlord genius. You wouldn't normally be able to speak to me face to face, so you're lucky. What? An overlord? You look too dainty for that. Grr. Huh, didn't you notice my exceptional mana power? Nope, not at all. Grr. I was hoping for a huge dragon-type monster to be the Overlord. Huh, that's the first time I've heard someone say that. You must be pretty fierce in the metal with the likes of me. I'm an elite Overlord, feared by my peers. Fine, I'll prove to you that I'm Pram the freaking Oracle. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever seen a rendition of Pram where she isn't just like a super aloof with confidence out the ass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did it. No way. I couldn't have lost. I usurped the throne from of the Netherworld from my father at the age of two. But all of you are beyond me. This can't be true. This must be some kind of conspiracy. Well, you're just a loudmouth. Gasp. This little runt called me a loudmouth. I'm the overlord. I'm an oracle. I'm a genius. Is this my punishment for bullying the other overlords? I went through all the trouble to summon you, and now you're making me look bad. You better start improving. Er, this is so not happening to me. Well then, if you th still think you're a great overlord... Then prove you have the skills and help my brother. I'm giving you a chance here. You better live up to my expectations. Hanako arrogantly made Pram a member of your group. Ugh, someone just randomly summons me and arrogant gives me a chance to live up to her expectations. It makes me her ally. How humiliating. Wait, summoned? You summoned me, right? What do you use for your ingredients? 
Well, I use some, I use the Omni Tome and a glass mask. Is that all? What else? Well, for additional flavoring, I tossed in some jerk named King Drake the Third. That's it. By adding such an impure object, no wonder I'm so weak. Are you sure? Of course. Er, anyway, because of that old man, I had to suffer so much humiliation. I'll never forgive him for that. Okay, and we got Pram now, so let's look at her status. So, of course, S with uh, stabs. An overlord who can see the future. Is she stalking uh, Overlord Zeta when receiving a magic attack int plus one? Okay, it's not bad. Um, I might use her, I'm not sure yet, uh, but I will, um, at least, um, yeah, I'll put her there. So, that's good. But I might not equip her with stuff yet, uh, just because. Um, so with that, I'm going to end this episode. So I hope you all have a very nice day and will join me in the next episode. Bye.